Uh, now, listen, you, you're made famous by your part in The Count of Monte Cristo. And, uh, <laughs> don't be so modest. Uh, you're in Hellraiser 8. All yeah. of this has happened. You're only 20. Listen to me, old man. You're only 20, son. How come you made it, you know, this big in Hollywood so quickly? Uh, right place, right time, right face. Mm. It's what it's all down to. I just got really, really, really Because you get lucky. lots of English actors and they spend years trying to crack yeah. Hollywood or get, you know, get even a small gig over there. And you're doing it fairly regularly, it seems. I just got lucky. I was, I was in boarding school, got picked up because I looked right. That was it. I, I believe you signed a you deal with the devil. You look older than 20. Uh, it shocked me that you're only 20 years old. Yeah? Well, yeah. that's a good thing now. I'm sure in five yeah, years' I'm time sure I'll probably is. hate you for that. Is it that. true you're still working at <laughs> a nightclub in Jersey? Yes. That's yes. true? Liquid nightclub, yeah. What do you do? Are you a bartender? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you make films for a few months in America, then you go and work in a bar in Jersey. Why, Why do you do that? It's, it's fun to keep things normal, you know? Because that's wicked. You've got you to do stuff in your free time, otherwise you just get bored. The first time, your first encounter with a naked woman. How'd that go? We don't need names. We don't need anything like that. Just like the experience of it all. Just, just, just. It's all in the, in the, the natural glory Cerebrally, of it. Yeah. like, bring everyone into it. Yeah. Hmm. She was older. Yeah. She was older. Not gonna say how much older, but a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah, I can best describe the picture by saying that it's a it's a an all out playground. It's a public playground. This picture can be it's, it just runs the gamut of everything you'd like to find in a playground. It has the swings, it has the bars, it has the slides. It has uh, the, excuse me, the children <laughs> in the playground. I thought I told you to wait for me in the box. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's very difficult to, to uh, design something with measurements that have just been mailed to you. Yeah. Aside from green, is there anything else you don't like, Linda? Any styles, particular styles? Or... Well, I don't look very good in full skirts and ruffles and Big things belly. like that. Uh, no, well, you'd be surprised. He, he got around all that. Yeah. Why? What's it's... the matter with ruffles and stuff? Is that... Well, full I'm just skirts, curious if you have a... full skirts, because my shoulders are so big, make me look very hippie and very large. Ah. It just looks like I'm just... Like a tank, I could start mm -hmm. up here and it just goes on and on and on. Yeah. So he tries to, you know, I can't do anything about my shoulders, they're here. So he tries to, ex, you know, de accent, accent this. Yeah. No, it's not. He, as long as we keep everything big up here and <laughs> we do so. Well, we have now, your yeah. shoulders now, right. okay. If you don't have them, you buy them, right? Put them on there. But with Linda's built wide in the shoulders, so we do important detail, and then we keep her very slim mm -hmm. in the hips. And, uh, and it shows off her figure. But the minute that you put her in something that's big on the top and then a big full skirt, you lose her. Yeah. You want to be with him? Yeah. You're pretty much in love with him, aren't you? <laughs> oh, no. These are outtakes from an interview with NBC's Chet Hundley that never aired. I That's... said no, didn't I? Yes, you did. Do you want to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> you are pretty much in love with him, aren't you? I suppose so. We certainly got that impression. <laughs> All I'm going to say is I suppose so. <laughs> I've ruined it, haven't I? 
I didn't start out as, as a star. I started out in small roles, very small roles when I was very, very young. Until I, uh, well, I guess, you see, I didn't become a star overnight. It was a uh, gradual thing. I was uh, dancing with my father, who was my teacher of dancing, and his father taught him. I was third generation. And the time I was, the time I was 13, I was dancing professionally. I mean, for a living. And after that, uh, I was dancing in a place in Mexico with my father, and uh, some people from Fox Studios saw me. But they asked my father if he would mind uh, if they made a screen test of me. And because they had, because I was, uh, you know, uh, underage, naturally, and my father and mother were always with me. And he uh, said, well, that's, yes, would you like to? He asked me, I said, yes, and so I did. And I was put under contract to that studio. I was made uh, as an image of a certain kind of, of uh, you know, that this? particular thing that they do when they make a star. They're